Hey guys, Watchout here and I have yet another video with some very interesting stuff. In this case we are talking about boosting the overall performance in GZ Doom and to achieve this I will put a link in the video below in the description um, to a video from Nash. I guess you know Nash, you know? <laughs> uh, he made a video about boosting the frames and based on his video I have made a test and it actually works pretty well for me um, and so let's start with it what we have is first things first we have GZ Doom we have um, that's some weird setting I made by accident I have 4000 trees I have 4000 pinkies um, and these are from Particle Fire Enhancer, that's the, that's why you don't see them. I use the Particle Fire Enhancer, or let's say a, a slightly customized version. Um, credits go to Nash. And uh, what we have is also some grass. So we have 4000 grass actors, 4000 pinkies, and 4000 trees. You see there they are 3D models actually. Um, only the pinkies are normal. And we also have a sky because I have the weather mod integrated. We have HD textures. And we have uh, LED generic LEDs or LED generic weapon mod. You will see the weapons in a minute. It's just the standard weapons, but optimized and a bit more modernized. Uh, one of my favorite mods. I will put the link into the, the description uh, in this case too. And so this room goes by... What's that? 10,240 in length and a bit more on the side 13,312 and what I have done you see I have four sectors here the first sector is the extreme settings so to speak uh, with the maximum view distance maximum render distance and uh, the next one is slightly Let's just say it's getting even foggier with every foggier and the render distance uh, is decreasing. And just to show you how that looks, I, I abused the difficulties for different settings to show you. So we start with I'm too young to die. Let's start that up. And so now we have um, this big room. The pinkies are not here because they are not in the skill. And we have these four, let's say, tiles. If I go on that, the script is activated. And we are talking about this one. So Nash worked with uh, console variables. I did that too and I have uh, the monsters when I go into uh, into the slate editor and go into the monster definitions decorate um, I added the line with the with the distance check the distance check is the maximum distance GZ doom is actually rendering the sprites of that monster or the tree or the grass um, you name it. Horizon distance is based off of Fallout. So you, you have things like snipers or big buildings, tall buildings that should be naturally visible from afar. And so the distance is 4300 map units. Then we have the props distance. In this case, it's the trees. We have the monster distance the maximum render distance of the monsters, logically, and we have the grass distance. 
so the grass is separate from the trees um, and it's it's basically um, just like as seen in Fallout somehow so I try to recreate this illusion how Fallout is transforming in game on the fly uh, the different cells anyway if <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about just watch a technical video how Fallout works with its or, or even Skyrim works with its uh, cells loading and unloading so back to game there's one thing I have here the slaughter map performance booster options I will put the link below I will deactivate it for now and you also see my frames here the 35 is because we are in the options menu and another thing the weather is deactivated we have got some weather options here we have the slaughter map performance booster we will get into this uh, later and we have this is uh, irrelevant we have Dark Doom Z, so we have the flashlight from Dark Doom Z, from the Dark Doom Z mod, and we have um, the fog mode. So you see, it's disabled. I just disabled these, and fog settings is just this. But in this case, I will not do anything because this is a console variable, and if I walk over this the map will automatically um, just change the way it's defined in the script so let's try the next one looks this way the next one has even more fork and the last one ooh, creepy night or something like that so and you can also combine this with the weather mod so it could be raining slow snowing uh, ash is falling or blood falling uh, something like that it won't impact much on the overall frames so let's go ahead and add the pinkies so now we have all the pinkies Let's see what the frames are saying. So we went from 400, 500 to around 330, something like this. And now I will use the fly command and activate all these pinkies. Let's change the sound so you can actually hear me. You don't need the sound. So let's just wait for them to come over here and see what we get as a maximum frames. Just have a sip of my tea here. So as you see we have roughly 60 frames. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't have V-Sync on, so V-Sync is deactivated. V I, I didn't change anything here. I just changed from uh, an older version of, of CZDoom to the new newest uh, SVN version, the DoD team version. Um, and that didn't really change much. It's or nothing because it's a fresh install. I just use OpenGL and uh, normal full HD, so 1080p. Okay, so we have about 60 frames, let's say. Now add, let's add, let's add the slaughter map. So we, and I have the maximum 
here it's actually the minimum and here's the maximum and it's enabled and we will get 10 to 20 frames more or oh, even even 100 frames almost because now you see in the distance let's activate the flashlight so even with the flashlight I still have a good frame rate so uh, my I, I should say that my I should say that my uh, monitor is actually 60 frames uh, 60 Hertz the pinkies are actually a good way to find out how monsters are dropping the frames without even having uh, some missile ranged attack ranged attack okay so we have a very stable so I can even make this so I dropped for a moment here This normally doesn't happen. I guess it's because I'm actually recording. I also got YouTube here but open by the way. Anyway. So, this was the first. Now we go further. And uh, what was the next? Hey, not too rough is the next. So now we have no monsters, but we have 4,000 trees and 4,000 grass actors. I have, just to be sure, activate the maximum settings. Remember, these are the maximum settings. You can see with uh, the way Nash is uh, using console variables, I just did the same. Um, I watched how he did this and then I made it usable for myself. And you see the grass, it's just like you would expect in Fallout or some other games in this of this kind. I could actually make some uh, open world space, open world uh, map this way so geez so it really does the job let's go further and see how the next one looks so this was the maximum we've got roughly 200 frames let's say 170 200 and go to the next now it's a misty morning, like I think. <laughs> and in the misty morning, the console variables are via ACS script um, changed, so it works well with the fog. Even that, that building there, I might have done something wrong with the variable in, the, in this part. This would be the, the example for a building that should be visible from afar. Guess I messed that up. Uh, yeah, it works as su as long as this popping in and out uh, is actually not visible when you don't use a sky texture. So without a sky texture it works fine, but because the sky texture is always full bright it now looks a bit odd. Anyway, so this is the misty morning. Let's go to the next mode, which reminds me of Silent Hill, to be honest. So I named it Silent Hill. Let's go for the Silent Hill. So the sky is actually pretty much killing the whole experience in this case. 
because even here it's somewhat strange to look at. So I will remove. Uh, no, I will not remove because the weather effects won't work. The weather effects won't work uh, when you don't have the sky texture. Ah, uh, full options menu. Weather. Let's just say it's raining heavily. So yeah. So we have different settings. Of course, everyone can do his own settings. You don't need to take mine, but these are my testing settings. So this is the maximum view distance setting. And you see we have a stable frame rate. Or at least I am happy as long as I have more than 60 frames. <laughs> have a minimum 60 frames, I mean. Let's now add the monsters. Here we go, now they have the monsters. Let's see what our frame rate is saying. I did EQD. Fly. I will later use Doom Imps and then I will use Kako Demons because I already tested those. So you see the pinkies there are actually standing there and not moving because their ticks are lowered. This is done by the slaughter map mod, which is really helpful. So y it might look a bit odd, but consider you are sitting in front of Doom Builder and designing the map in a way so this doesn't really disturb so much. But normally you're not flying, normally you're on the ground and so you won't even realize that the slaughter map mod is working without flying. You won't see that. Okay, so what do we have? We have a stable frame rate from uh, of let's see 83 85 86 now add the flashlight stop flying I would say this is a good frame rate considering that we have 4,000 grass actors, 4,000 pinkies, and 4,000 trees in this map. 77 frames is a good frame rate in this case. So it is dropping here and there, but it's actually playable. And remember, we are using the Particle Fire Enhancer and Let's Generic Weapon Mode. So this is not really vanilla, and it's still a good frame rate. Next. So what do we have? Um, that's actually it. I can restart that and change. We had maximum settings. Now we are going to the next one and see how it goes. So the render distance is smaller 
of the monsters, or the trees, or the grass. And you actually see we have a stable frame rate around 100. Just by reducing the maximum view distance and render distance and by just adding a, bit, a little bit of the distance fog is actually not doing very much so it does not have any impact on the frame rate I uh, found out so consider this irrelevant but it is for the view for the view distance too. and you see we are around 80 to 100 frames per second this is again really good Remember, these are 4,000 pinkies. I guess no one will need 4,000 pinkies in one in the big area. You might can. S the the rest is just a matter of uh, map design and monster placement. Just place them in a way and design your map in a way that the frame rate is uh, keeping its stability. So we are at 85 roughly. Let's go next. Just restarting the same thing all over again and taking the next one. Even lower values. We, we should, we already have uh, uh, 120 roughly. So we gained just by setting up uh, the, all the variables to, to lower values in a way that they actually disappear as far as long uh, um. ah, sorry here <laughs> I don't know what to say <laughs> so the fog distance makes a nice transition so let's see if we get to the building there Yeah, there it is. So just imagine we don't have the sky. Let's imagine we have our custom own our own custom sky, and you will see that the transitioning works really well. So here's the building. Now I'm far away from the building. The building will pop out of existence, you know, but it is not visible because the fog is already clouding it, hiding it. Only the sky is a bit disturbing. Okay, let's do the next thing. The last setting. The dark, creepy night setting. And you know what? Let's maybe change the weather to snowy. The grass is actually hovering above ground, that's uh, an oversight on my part, but irrelevant to what I'm showing. So 120 to 80 in this range. Let's deactivate um, the weather to see if it makes any difference. Sunny. Yeah, th this is irrelevant in this case. Let's see if it's sunny. So without the weather, we actually get 140 frames, 150 roughly. This is pretty good, I would say. And with a flashlight. Okay, so now, the next thing we have is to change the demons into imps. 
and watch how this works. Let's go in here. F3. Uh, thing type. Find. Demon. Not the invisible one, we want the normal one. Replace with the imp. The imp has a far range attack, uh, a ranged attack. And the way, one way to make the frames be, uh, stay stable is to actually add the max, uh, max target range. So the monster won't attack with his fireball if it's not within the range of, I think I set it to 2048 or 2000 uh, uh, map units. So replace, uh, yes, the imp. No, not the stealth one. Replace. Now we replaced all the demons with doom imps. Close. Not again. Just to see only the monsters. So they won't attack until they reach the the uh, until they are close enough. Because I set it to two thousand, as I said. So without any trees, without any just to show you, it's the fire it's the fireballs that make for a huge frame drop. So I get now I get frame drops, but this is overly totally uh, exaggerated, yes. So nobody will actually need this, need it this way. So let's just go to that corner, so nobody's shooting at me. They first have to walk towards me. Some people might say, "Why, why limit the range, of firing the, the the attack range from the monster?" Might be somewhat senseless. Might, does not make sense or something like this. If you are one of those who thinks that way, just let me say, it's a matter of how you design your your map. Design your map in a way that it makes sense. If you have some fog, it's totally okay, because you might just give the illusion that. The imps are actually not able to see you through the fog. They have to come closer before they shoot. This could be one thing. Same thing with the uh, zombies and their rifles. So we, go, we have a good frame rate, considering we have 4,000 imps. Let's just stand just here and look what's happening. So the frame rate is now dipping because they are all shooting, but let's just wait for the missiles to go away. So with maximum with maximum settings we have 30 frames. That's bad. But who on? But who, but who? <laughs> no pun intended. Who in the hell of Earth? Who in the hell on Earth would place four thousand imps in one place? So let's go ahead, start this new, and uh, we did hurt plenty. Let's do uh, hurt me plenty is now the next one. So here we got everything: four thousand imps. 4,000 uh, trees, 4,000 grass, 
actors and now we have 136 let's see if something changes if we change to the next setting we already have a boost next one now we're hitting 180 next one dark creepy night you are all alone full with imps 180 still okay without a flashlight it's going up 10 frames okay so IDDQT FA. let's wake them up no al <laughs> already killed one <laughs> Let's see how the frame rate goes. We are still in the 60s. Let's consider we don't have a plasma rifle, we just have our minigun, maybe. Roughly 60 frames. And remember, I am actually recording, so recording all this might also take some frames away. By the way, I am using an RTX 2060, so it's an older card. You might have better results with a newer card. And my CPU is actually a 5800 AMD Risen. 5, 5800, yes. 5800X, actually. And I have 32 gigs of RAM. I'm not really sure if this is in some case in any kind uh, irrelevant in this place. So let's change to maximum. Fly. Let's take the Silent Hill type. So you have to consider, I, I having, I'm having 50 frames, but if you are playing even Vanilla Doom without these settings, without these control variables and render settings, you won't get 50 frames. You won't. You just won't get them. You will. You will have a, di a dire show of one frame per minute or something. So let's go to the next extreme and test how it work. How well it works with uh, cacodemons. Cacodemons also have a maximum target range and. Let's see what happens there. Let's change the imps to cacodemons. F3. Here we go. Replace. Now we're cooking. So now we have standard settings, the extreme settings, and we have lots and lots of 
Cacos. Let's wake them up. First, it's only the Caco demons without any props. So let's see how this goes. Okay, this was weird. Ah, it's it, this might be due to the slaughter map. Um. Yo, guys, what's up? I just may have encountered some kind of bug. Uh, ah, no, no, it's the slaughter map. Okay. So this, that was weird. Just restart it again once. Okay, so here we go. 60, 60. Of course, the frame rate will drop. actually changed the, the 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 missile of the Keiko demons so the full the full design is only viewable um, I basically added a maximum uh, full render range to the projectile itself so the projectile how it really looks is only visible when you are close when you are far away some things will not be spawned and this also saves some frame rate, uh, some frames. So it dips to 33, it just stopped flying. So even though I am bombarded by Kakos, by Kako whistles, I still have 45 frames. That's quite good. So these are the maximum settings and I have 45 frames. This is actually gorgeous. This is pretty gorgeous. I'm amazed myself. So... Let's just try the next one. We might have a slight, a slight increase. We're still hitting the 60s with all it, with all the action going on. So it doesn't make much of a difference. Let's deactivate the flashlight. Yeah, so it stays around 60 frames no matter the second. Yeah, so as you see, I have, uh, depending on how you design your map, how many monsters you are placing, how many walls you have, because one interesting thing is also um, when I have no wall, I have only the walls at the end of the map. Interestingly, when I, let's just say I add a wall just from here to there, everything behind the wall automatically 
won't be rendered so you will also gain a huge frame boost from this but only if it's not a raised floor or a lowered ceiling it has to be a wall a real wall so let's try that out for a second let's just say uh, no <laughs> let's just say I add a wall that's blocking the whole side there I should in theory I should also practically I should have a huge rise in frames because of this wall blocking the side it does not work with lowered ceilings or with uh, raised floors it needs to be a real wall so the things in here are stuck uh, just ignore this let's start again and see if the frames are, s are changing in some way I'm pretty sure they will maximum settings so we are already hitting 350 370 that's actually pretty wild now it's dipping because they're attacking but still we got 100 frames that's awesome just by adding the wall let's just add the trees and grass and see what happens then um, ah, what am I doing so we have 140 maximum settings Okay, we have, s we have roughly 70 now with maximum. Let's do the next one. Flashlight. Stable for 60. So the amount of actors is actually one of the biggest effects that are slowing down the frame rate of course. But we still got around 60 to up to up to 70 frames. And this is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. So just for clarity, without these performance boosting options, um, there would have been no way to get 60 frames with that much going on on the screen. No way. Not even vanilla. Even vanilla would go to its knees. And we managed to get minimum 30 frames and and uh, most of the time we got uh, 60 to 70 frames and that's pretty good that's really good that's a huge boost because you can be sure before I used this method uh, that Nash used to um, there was actually no way this map and this amount of monsters would have worked remember we have 12,000 actors 
12,000 actors on one map. On a huge map. And we still got 60 frames. So what are you thinking your frames will be when you do just normal maps? The, the standard maps, uh, interior maps and so, and so on. With, m with many walls, with many rooms. The framework will just be awesome all the time. This would be the next thing um, I'm going to test. I will do a map and I will look at the frame rates. They should be okay all the time. And yeah, so here I'm ending the video. This was a thorough check test of frame rates. And as I said, I just have a 2060. You might have uh, a better graphics card, so you might even get more frames by uh, because of that. Uh, my graphics card is pretty old by now. So it would be interesting to hear from someone if, if someone is uh, having a higher card i uh, i actually have to share this uh not now but i might share it in the share it in the future yeah so you can check that for yourself too uh, on your machine then so that's it for the video we will i was we will see a <laughs> sorry english is not my basic language so i'm living in germany um and actually i'm greek <laughs> so english i'm pretty good at english i'm just not used to using the english spoken word so see you in the next video and now i start talking